seconds left. Out comes Master McGrath. The goaltender heads for the bench. They're getting the six man on. They have the puck in the slot area. Six men on the ice. 23 seconds left. Oh, there was a really <coughs> high quality shot. And three more jabs at it next to the net. And there's a slash on somebody. I wonder if it's on the Dragon. Yes, it is. No, who is it? Yep, there's a penalty on the Majestic Dragon. So with 17 seconds left and only a one goal Dragon lead, uh, there's going to be a face off with a six on four in the Dragon zone. So they really need to clear the puck. Beef and broccoli on the face off. And General Gao Chicken goes up the boards to contain it. Now it's out to the left point. There's a slap shot. It was deflected wide. General Gao Chicken throws it up the boards. And it's not going to be icing because they're short-handed. And there's no time left on the clock. So the Dragon, they, you know, they hang on to win this by, you know, the skin of their shrimp tails. And uh, they win the game 5-4. to four. So uh, Fortune Cookie really came up big, though. And, um, you know, it was quite a flurry at the end, but um, they held on and they won the game. So this is their first win. So um, Tony Wu would be proud of them. You know, all know that Tony is the owner of the Majestic Dragon. He was tragically murdered during a burglary only a few weeks ago. And um, so it's nice to see that his hockey team uh, just won a game. And here comes the dragon. Maybe they should get into the uh, restaurants, have a few Mai Tais. Should I say General Gao? Nice job. General Gao. Uh, the fortune cookie played really well, fortune even though he was played sick. The best game of best game of his career is the fortune cookie, and he even had a hundred degree temperature, the flu. Yep. But he still managed to pull off the dub. I'll us. tell you, I was really worried that the cookie was going to crumble, but it didn't. I wasn't. Okay? I wasn't. I knew that. You know, we had our fans here. We had everyone behind us. Yep. That was for you, Tony Wolf. Okay. Yes, it was. Okay. Nice job, General Gao. See you guys next week. Okay. So, uh, so what were you doing? So this is these are the groupies that follow um, the majestic dragon around. Okay, we have from Gloucester, Massachusetts, Nelica, and from Brocktal, Germany. Are you from Brocktal or is yeah, just Toby? Oh, Mittenlau. Nita Mittenlau. Okay, this is Svenja Rusvik. So, um, what'd you think of the game, Svenja? Es war sehr sehr gut. Hatte sehr viel Spaß. Oh, super. So do you think you're going to come back on the Flugzeug next week to see the see next week's game? Nice Nice to Boha. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. All right, good. In the luxury boxes. Yeah. Yeah, with the waitress service. Yes. Yeah, okay. All right. And uh, Toby was the waitress tonight. Yeah. The waiter. -er. Sorry. The waiter, -er, <laughs> not the waitress. Yeah. Well, and he was he was the commentator. And, you know, he didn't know this, but he predicted after the second period that the Dragon was going to win the game. And if they didn't win the game, he was going to be deported. 